Hello, today I am at Loudham's once again and we're looking at all four of the UK Airstream models and today we're going to focus on this one which is the Airstream 604. In the lineup this is the second one along so you've got the 534 which is the smallest, the 604 which is the small twin axle, 684 and then the 25IB. So this is the slightly bigger than the 534, smaller than the 684. Let's take a closer look. So where the 534 is a single axle model with a modest payload with a wet bathroom, the 604 is the next one up. So this, as you can see, rides on a twin axle to give you more payload, obviously it makes it heavier. And the main difference with this one is it also has a washroom with a separate shower. So a few more facts and figures for you. The overall length is 7.6 meters, interior length is 6 meters, the width is about 2.3 meters so it's not an 8 foot wide van which is again this separates it from the 684 which is 8 foot wide. This is narrower, easier to tow. Now the MRO of this beauty is 1870 kilos with a plated empty PLM of 2,100 kilos. That gives you a payload of 230 kilos, but you can upgrade that, folks, to a whopping 2,600 kilos if your tow vehicle can take it. So if you find that the payload of the 534 does not suit your needs, then take a look at the beautiful 604. So that's uh, a quick look at the exterior, the facts and figures. As ever, I will take my wide angle camera, give you a sweep of the inside, and then we'll look at the interior in just a little more detail. Okay, so now as we take a closer look at the inside, you know, it's very busy here today, so uh, I'll uh, try and get in as quickly as I can to get away from the uh, extra noise. Now, unusually, this Airstream has the lounge at the rear of the caravan. So we've actually, that door, we've actually come in at the back. Now, some people that might put them off, but generally, if you have a motor mover fitted, you can put it in the pitch, normally most pitches, either way round and of course if you did reverse um, if you did go in forwards to a pitch with a motor mover of course then your door would be on the same side as all the other UK vans because the door is on the continental side so we've got this L-shaped seating here but as you can see I will put this up in a moment folks there is a table here that pops up and you can have it as a little two two-seater dinette 
so even though it's a three berth caravan it's really designed more as a couple's caravan nice big window here and really folks the idea of these airstream walkthroughs is not to go into the huge nitty-gritty about every last nut and bolt. It's really to try and help anyone who wants an Airstream decide between the models and what the differences are. Now the differences between this and say a 534, the smaller one, got this huge fridge for a start. But also compared to the 684, as well as the slightly smaller lounge, you've also got, it's narrower in the middle here, but then it's easier to tow because it's narrower on the road than a 684. So all these things are things to consider and what you would or would not prefer. Uh, the classic three burner hob with a combi grill and oven. This does fall for criticism from some people, but as an Airstream owner for owners over 10 years, I can honestly say, I've never tried to cook a Christmas dinner in it and I've never once thought oh I wish I had a grill as well as an oven so you know horses for courses this is very swish I love this bit and then as we come through you have got the rear bedroom you do have a little you can shuffle sort of around the bed here you've got a gap here somewhere there to put your uh, your drinks and your book at night, reading lights. And so this is the refresh, they're all refresh models we're looking at with the grey furniture and that nice blue on the inside of the furniture. And then as we go into the washroom, this is the selling point really for the 604 because it has a separate shower whereas the 534, the smaller one, has a wet room. This one has proper shower, as with all Airstreams, has an extractor fan in the washroom. And as we come down slowly, so I don't make you seasick folks, very swish wash basin and tap and then your bog standard oh, do you get it bog standard that for toilet bog no oh, i'll shut up and heated towel well. So this is with the table up and uh, yeah, it's a really good size for two. I, I personally think this would suit me very well. Um, get my phone out of the way. Because you've got the room here to relax, yet you've still got a table to work, but the table's not in the way. And that is really good, really good. Plenty of room for two to dine like I say, uh, not for three. So despite the fact you can sleep someone here, it works better as a two berth. So finally, before we leave this caravan, of course, we're talking about sleeping. There's one thing left to do. And let's see how big these beds are. Okay, so the third berth is actually across the front of the, sorry, across the back of the caravan and uh, not the side bit. And then if I measure this, at the narrowest point is six foot, and at the widest point is six foot six. But it's about six foot five. Six foot five is 196 centimeters. And then the width, two foot five, which is 73 centimeters. So really quite a good, generous front guest bed. And now let's go and measure the main bed at the front. This is the main bed 
on a beautiful duvalet mattress and I've slept on these when I had uh, the old Missouri on loan. Slept on one of these for many months. They are so comfortable. In fact, it's more comfortable than my bed at home. This is six foot long, 183 centimeters, but you do have a further gap of about eight inches, 20 centimeters at the end here. So if, you're, if you are slightly taller than six foot, you do have a little bit of room for your legs to dangle just a little bit, eight inches. And then width, four foot six, 137 centimeters. So yeah, oh, beautiful duvalet mattress. Six foot in length. Um, so if you are really tall, your feet will be dangling over the edge. Right, so there you have it. That is the Airstream 604. Sort of a mid-sized one, towable by many larger cars. You've got the full proper washroom, twin axle, great payload, L-shaped lounge, and the fixed bed. So do check out my other Airstream videos. I will leave links in the description below. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, folks. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say, from Dougal and from me. Thanks for tuning in. There. Did you like that one, Dougal? How did you find that one? Were you excited about that one? Are you excited? Let's do it. He never smiles. <laughs>